So, uh, Kyle Rittenhouse, that true American hero. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, they're all you know, in play. The myth is he's still out there defending property as we speak. <laughs> he just never sleeps. Yeah, yeah. I love it. I love it when people... Because like, the whole uh, Black Lives Matter and Antifa thing, where they were like, defund the police, defund the police, we'll replace it with the community policing. And it's like, well, we replaced it with really good, effective community policing. Uh, you know, these armed, uh, you know, some people say vigilantes, uh, some people say true American patriots, and... Uh, uh, you know, they, they, they did their job. They did their job. There were people uh, going to, to burn down businesses, people going to um, uh, attack people. Yeah. And um, yeah, they, they, they did their job with the with with um, the, the appropriate level of force, I think. If you're dealing with a paedophile who's attacking you, I love that Tucker Carlson line about, um, about Joseph um, Rosenbaum. Rosenbaum, who uh, said he, he, he died as he lived, um, trying, to, trying to touch an unwilling minor. Did so you, um, <laughs> do you see uh, Ben and Jerry's response to the situation as well? Yeah, I They're, think I, I did a I did a thing about it uh, last week on uh, Lotus Eaters because uh, yeah they they said uh, you know they said oh if he was black he'd, uh, he'd, he'd you know how it was like the Joseph Rosenbaum treat? flavor or something it's like he's still trying to get in kids' mouths yeah <laughs> anyway, <laughs> bad jokes <laughs> yeah yeah and yeah Ben and Jerry's were like oh, how would he have been treated if he was uh, if he was if he was black it was like man if he was black if a if a black seventeen year old shot three white guys who were trying to kill him. You'd make up. You'd name an ice cream after him. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's the actual truth of it. But anyway, getting into it. So obviously, uh, Hollywood liberals have uh, have, have come and, and spoken uh, about the the Kyle Rittenhouse um, trial, and of course he was found, he was exonerated on all charges. So they finally realised kid did nothing wrong. Kid did nothing Defending wrong. Himself. Found there's a jury that you know a jury taken you know cross section of community and you know it's a very fair trial. There's so much scrutiny in this trial. There's if there's any um, you know sub judice or, or any prejudice brought brought against it, it was by the the liberal media who were well, who were trying to dox the the jurors and you know all the rest. Literally MSNBC getting pushed out of the. Uh yeah. room for doing that. So, you know, fingers crossed Kyle's going to be become very rich suing uh, CNN and people like that, which is going to be delightful. And then maybe he can move on to suing some of these celebrities because uh, some of them have, have said things that are uh, that are defamatory. Uh, but yeah, so the, the first one that came that caught my, my eye was Mark Ruffalo, who's actually been in some brilliant films uh, like Blindness. Um, great film. But um, he says, we come together to mourn the lives lost to the same racist system that devalues black lives and devalued the lives of Anthony and Jojo. So he's given a cute nickname, Jojo, to Joseph Rosenbaum, who's a pedophile. Not just a pedophile, not just any pedophile, man. Like people talk about Epstein. Epstein was, was preying on teenage girls. When, you know, it's bad, but flying them on a private jet to a tropical island. You know what I mean? Like, if, if you want to get nonced, if you want to get nonced by anybody, I'd say, yeah, Jeffrey Epstein. And he's a good looking guy. You know what I mean? I'm not saying what he did was right, but I'm just saying- If you, you know, had to I'd, choose between him and Rosenbaum. Yeah, him, Rosenbaum, oh. Jimmy Savile. You know what I mean? Like, you'd go with Jeffrey Epstein. Oh God. You would like, go with the, Jeffrey the Epstein. F, marry, kill situation yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> F, marry, nonce. So um, yeah, like, but the, you know, Getting away from uh, from Jeffrey, and also Jeffrey Epstein had the, had the good grace to kill himself, and I respect that in a nonce. Like I just, you know, I don't like it when they they stay alive <laughs> at taxpayers' expense. So, um, so like, yeah, it's like a defense of Hitler. Mark like, Ruff well, he did kill Hitler. Mark Ruffalo. <laughs> Mark, well, that man, Joseph Rosenbaum, the the nonce, he he was like multiple counts of like uh, raping uh, children. I think as young as five, yeah. and absolutely the most barbarous, despicable fucking. Subhuman, just the worst, the worst of the worst. All his victims still alive and having to listen to this. Almost. And the families, you know, watching him being defended by all these liberal elites. But obviously, I'm not, I'm not actually surprised that these Hollywood liberal elites are defending a pedophile because obviously anyone in Hol Hollywood is keeping their mouths shut. Uh, and defending, you know, and not speaking out against the, the paedophile rings. If anybody does speak out against them, like you saw uh, Corey Feldman, uh, one of the one of the few child stars from the 80s who is still alive, uh, because a, a lot of the other ones have succumbed to uh, either suicide or, or drug overdoses because they, they were all uh, victims of paedophile grooming gangs in Hollywood. And this is, you know, this is open knowledge. And there really should be, you know, people being arrested. Um, 
and we um, we've seen you know how how it can all crumble with uh, you know people like um, you know Kevin Spacey. I mean, it, uh, we're not talking pedophiles here, but Kevin Spacey or Harvey Weinstein, and then all the Hollywood liberals who were who were you know maintaining a, a wall of silence about you know Harvey Weinstein. You know, they, then they all come out. Oh, what he did was bad. It's like why didn't you say this 15 years ago when you're having your photo taken with him at the Oscars and keeping your mouth shut because you knew it would advance your career to do it? And now it's advancing their career to toe this liberal line about about. Uh, Rittenhouse. So anyway, um, yeah, the next one, Reese Witherspoon. Um, uh, if we scroll down, we can see her tweet. Uh, just scroll down a little bit. Uh, so um, yeah, so she says no one should be able to pur purchase a semi-automatic weapon cross state lines. I mean, he didn't cross state lines with the weapon. But anyway, so I love it. I just bring it up as much as possible. Yeah, none of them have so followed. Funny. None of them have followed the details of the trial. They don't know what the fuck. They, they don't know what they're talking about. I'm going to stop swearing. This is uh, this makes yeah. me angry though. But like, um, like none of them know about the gun being pointed at Carl's head. But they all know about the state lines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The state lines. You know, 20 minutes drive. And uh, yeah, Reese Witherspoon was arrested for drunk driving and yelled at the cop, they don't know who you are and shouldn't you be held accountable for drinking? Anyway, like, you know, Reese Witherspoon is, uh, whether she's got a spoon or not, she's uh, she's a terrible person. So um, yeah, here's Corey Feldman, yeah, just talking about the, talking about the pedo ring. Um, so yeah, he's he's still alive. He wants to expose uh, Hollywood's darkest secrets. There's uh, there are um, uh, documentaries out there on this, and it's uh, it's worth watching. It's very eye opening, and also just um, how I mean, any power structure with a lot of money, um, with people wanting to climb the ladder, and there's a lot of competition for it, um, like the Catholic Church or Hollywood, is is going to have uh, plenty of abusive power and and pedophilia and stuff like that. So so that's that. Uh, moving on, Lady Gaga. Uh, systemic oppression is evil and destroys the world. <laughs> like Jesus Christ! Like, come on, Lady well, Gaga. You know, who gives a crap what Lady Gaga's you're, you're opinion called, on politics called, is? You know, you're called Lady Gaga. Maybe give up your position in the system. But She's got an exalted position could, in the system that she thinks is evil. Could, give it up. Give all your money to charity. Give it all to Black Lives Matter so they can buy more villas for their family. And then, like, uh, and then because anybody, anybody who's a socialist uh, immediately becomes a hard-nosed capitalist when they get some money becomes a landlord yeah 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> i just can't get over like imagine being her right and yeah. you just make like crap songs that's all you do some of them are and, good. and then you're just like yeah a politics it's like yeah. oh yeah jesus christ where do they get the, most this uninformed is... person on the subject yeah. it's like you are to politics as uh, greta thunberg is to to climate change science it's like you know she's like all these scientists who've been studying it for decades are like you know know it inside out and then this eight-year-old comes yes. over eh, eh, you're ruining my childhood and it's like everybody's like oh let's pay attention to this eight-year-old it's like no why don't we listen to the experts Funnily enough, we've got a, a political expert in the next one uh so the next tab is uh, oh, President God. Biden. <laughs> president Biden, you might remember him. Uh, he used to be president before Kamala Harris uh, became acting president uh, while he was having a, what was he having, a colonoscopy or something? Yeah. Um, trying to look for, for more of his speeches. <laughs> um, and uh, so, yeah, he says, while the verdict in Kenosha will leave many Americans feeling angry and concerned, myself included. So he's feeling angry and concerned about the verdict in Kenosha. Why? Uh, yeah, why? Name the specifics. Why? Like, I don't know. the wh case? Yeah. We must acknowledge that the jury has spoken. Why is he trying to undermine the the legal system, the American legal system, which is the uh, you know the envy of the world? If you're man, if you're in Iran or you know some other you know backwards country, you'd cry out, you'd cry out to be treated with the, the fairness and be able to uh, you know defend okay. yourself in court. Yeah, com compared to the third world. Yeah. The Yanks have got a legal system. Yeah, they've got a legal system. They've got, you know, and I think it's sacrosanct for democracy and for free society yeah. that we, we stand by our legal system. Bear in mind, I wouldn't be saying any of this if he'd been found guilty. And if we move on, <laughs> <laughs> if we move on, this is Harry Kondabulu seeing an opportunity to raise his profile by jumping on another bandwagon. So if a black kid's cross state, state lines and shot people, the mostly white jury, mostly white, like America's mostly white. Like this, when they say mostly, white it's like the uk is 86 percent white and they're like oh it should be 50 50 on live at the Apollo. no it shouldn't be well, it should be 86 percent and like you know it should be proportionate you know what's funny carl rittenhouse is mostly not white he's is, hispanic is he yeah <laughs> like on his police report he's listed as hispanic as well amazing so uh, carl rittenhouse is a person of color yeah. who shot three black uh, three white men who are who are attacking him and one of them was a pedophile mm. and another one had a gun and another one was a skateboarder which is basically the same as being a pedophile. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. 
So, and Harry Condabulu, by the way, he was the comedian who tried to get The Simpsons cancelled. So he, he said the character oh, right. of Pooh in The Simpsons is racist. And, uh, that loser. Yeah, the character of Pooh in The Simpsons yeah. is racist. Like every single other character in The Simpsons, they're all based on national stereotypes. But Harry Condabulu said he got bullied at school because of a poo. It's like you didn't get bullied at school because of a poo. You got bullied at school because you're soft as shit. You know what I mean? If you did steroids and MMA, <laughs> nobody would be coming up to you <laughs> doing the voice. Anyway, this is, <laughs> this is Stephen King, the writer. So he says... So, then you can hear him scratching and say, the white guy goes free. Is that the message? So, uh, yeah, the medication clearly working for Stephen King. That's a tweet with all the with all the intellectual finesse of one of his books. Okay, well, there's 78,000 um, likes. I mean, that's the, the level of dunces out there. Yeah. Oh, look, Gad Sad coming back with some uh, with some uh, goodie. I, I love Gad Sad. Always, uh, always stirs it up. Uh, but the next one, uh, Sophia Bush, no relation to any of the proper Bushes. Uh, she's just um, an actor. Uh, so she's uh, she's said, if, if you close that, she's shared this uh, pretty defamatory meme saying he's bragging about it at the bar. I mean, I would. Um, <laughs> and then crying about it in court. But what's she basing that on? And uh, she says, no words, just utter fury um, in, in five words. So there were some words. If there's no words, it would be a blank tweet, Sophia. You can't count. You know, if you get, can't count, you can't do politics. Okay, next one. I, I get your point about the meme, though. I mean, there is nothing there, isn't there? Yeah, it's yeah. Just like, it's defamatory. Di didn't you know, like, when he was in the bar, he was having fun? But when recalling the shooting, he had a breakdown. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's like the people who criticize uh, people at uh, uh, traumatic events as being crisis actors because they weren't acting like a, like a, you know, like in some sort of Hallmark TV yeah. movie about the thing, you right. know, because people, when they're, when they're uh, exposed to trauma, sometimes you do, you know, I've been, I've been in traumatic situations, sometimes it's, it's immensely exciting. So like, and you know, horrifying as well. So, you know, you laugh or you're, you know, you're excited. So you don't always react like, you know, this, and maintain for you know over hours and hours and hours and hours and days and days and days this somber visage like people are people sometimes when you sit you down and you're reliving it i mean yeah 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 oh. so next uh next one kerry washington whoever i mean i'm very disappointed with the caliber of celebrities who've, who've come out in favor of uh or against kyle rittenhouse i've never heard of any of them apart from mark ruffalo and lady gaga but uh she says the lives of joseph rosenbaum and anthony huber mattered Joseph Rosenbaum, remember, convicted paedophile, one of the worst, like, worst, not an Epst Epstein-level paedophile. No private jets, no luxury tropical islands, um, no ordering a steak whenever you want. This guy, absolute monster. So... <laughs> I can't get the idea you're like, well, you know, at least you get a steak. Oh, man, like, Jeffrey Epstein. You know, like, man, you get, like, ring a little bell and somebody's going to come over with a towel over their arm and be like, you'd be like, can I have some waffles with some Nutella on them? And they'll go and get them. I mean, like, all right, you got to suck Jeffrey Epstein's dick, but, like, man, like, everything yeah. else on that island was 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 great. Him, Clinton, they're, they're all getting the wood chipper, in my opinion. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Oh, and everybody went to that island. All the, I bet these Hollywood celebrities would be on that island. And if, well, if you look at all, the, the uh, flight records... What's Ricky Gervais' thing? Where he's like, well, he's your mate, not mine. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The flight records, like the Clintons, Bill Gates, you know, all these, you know, great and good people uh, all went to that island and were happy to, to rub shoulders with them. And they saw, they all saw, you know, Prince Andrew and stuff. They all saw, man, the teenage girls in the, and they must have thought, man, some of these girls look a bit young. Are these, you know, is this fully informed and, you know, all the rest of it? And, uh, but no, they all, they all said nothing about it because they wanted money and they wanted influence and they didn't want to do anything that would, you know, rock the boat or upset their career. And they're a bunch of nonces. And they're all, yeah, they're all, they're all turbo <laughs> nonces. So, uh, and uh, yeah, I'm not saying I wouldn't be if I was, you know, if I became president, I'm not saying I wouldn't be. I'd be, I'd be flying every what? tropical island, but uh, no, I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> but uh, Andy Cohen, uh, who, what in the actual F-U-C-K? Oh my God. Like, so uh, it's good. He's channeling, uh, channeling a, a 90s California teenage girl uh, about that. But yeah, he, he's got a talk show or something. So it's some very informed opinion here. Moving on, we've got an actual famous person. So uh, Bette Midler uh, is really good at singing. Really good at singing and also just uh, just an incredible, astute political mind. If we move on, uh, it's Bette Midler again. Uh, there's some, so she's saying there's something wrong with the judge. Well, that sounds, that sounds, like, that sounds in contempt of court. Um, moving on, we've got uh, CNN's Van Jones. So, the, you know, this guy, the CNN should be pretty impartial when they're reporting on stuff like this. Fox News always get accused of being uh, partisan. But this is, you know, undermining the criminal justice system. Van Jones system. doesn't care. Yeah, yeah. 
Um, and it says it's a dangerous green light for vigilantes who might feel empowered to to, pro to travel to protests and uh, and shoot people. It's what well, well, that yeah, was it, what the guys attacking him were doing. Yeah, and like yeah, maybe maybe it will. They turned I mean, up. Maybe that's what maybe that's what society needs. You know, to stop. Let's remember that these people are there to to damage property, and like dozens, dozens of people have been killed in uh, you know Antifa riots, Black Lives Matter riots, um, and, uh, and unfortunately, sadly, really targeting vulnerable communities and, and people who don't have the resources to move it. So a, a lot of Do you remember uh, David Dawn. Yeah, a lot of uh, minority and ethnic people being killed in, in these riots. Um, so, you know, if this encourages people not to travel to protest and burn down buildings and, and kill people and smash up property, then, yeah, that is a good thing. That is a good thing. It's the, the hard men we need, as uh, Lawrence Fox would say. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, good times create weak men. Weak men create bad times. And Carl then, Rittenhouse comes to solve it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think we should make him Sheriff of America. He's doing a great job. I'm, I'm pretty convinced on this defund the police. Turns out Antifa's policies were quite based. <laughs> defund the police, refund Carl Rittenhouse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Which uh, CNN and all, all these uh, media outlets that he's going to sue for defaming him are shortly going to do. So this is Ava DuVernay. Um, so... Yeah, just a load, load more waffle. Um, I'm just glad that Twitter's got a, got a word count limit. Um, next message uh, is her again. So white supremacy, I don't, like, this, is the, this is the thing. This is why I pulled this tweet up. Uh, the white supremacy thing. So a Hispanic boy, a Hispanic boy killed three white men who were attacking him. And for some reason, that's white supremacy. Like somebody's got to show me that algorithm but, that algebra you know that's the argument he was politically white they were politically black yeah the white guys yeah and back onto the pedo thing the next one uh, so mia farrow of course um notorious wife and enabler of a pedophile uh woody allen uh, <laughs> I don't know who that is. Mia Farrow, she was she was married to Woody Allen i don't know who woody allen Man, is. like you got you got to read the papers why are you reading all this john <laughs> milne stuff you got to really, like, you need to you need to educate yourself. Is he a musician? Woody Allen. I'm bloody know. Woody <laughs> Allen. <laughs> Woody, the the comedian and filmmaker oh. and, and pedophile. He married his own daughter. Yeah. He married his own daughter. Maybe that's why I don't read the papers. Man, like this is not <laughs> like Woody Allen's like you know very. He's director as well, and obviously all the people in Hollywood happy to work with them uh, until well, you him know, and his daughter. Man, he married, so he adopted, uh, uh, I don't know if she was Chinese or, you know, uh, Southeast Asian or something, adopted uh, a girl with Mia Farrow and then married his adopted daughter. Wait, what happens to Mia Farrow? Well, Mia Farrow's not happy about it. <laughs> but, you know, she... Well, I imagine you wouldn't be. Yeah, but I, you know, I, I certainly consider her pedophile adjacent. I, I, I mean, by definition. By definition, she's pedo adjacent. Oh, God, so, that's weird. Yeah. So Mia Farrow, but she's got, she's got a lot of strong opinions about uh, about Rittenhouse who tries to kill a pedophile. So next uh, next thing, um, so Rachel Zegler, she her hairs. Oh, thanks for telling us, Rachel. I mean, I, I would have been calling you house brick and fucking marmalade. You know what I mean? <laughs> like you, you look like a. Like, if I ask the child to draw a woman, they draw you. Why are you telling us your pronouns are she her and hers? Yeah. Everybody knows you're just doing it to virtue signal that you're some sort of trans island. But actually, showing your pronouns like that if, is if she... insulting to transgender people because it's saying to transgender people, "Oh, nobody can tell what your pronouns are." When in fact, for most transgender people, it's obvious what their pronouns are. Are because they're presenting as the gender that they've chosen, like, you know, they're presenting as their gender. So, like, she's insulting transgender people, she's insulting me, and now she's insulting the American criminal justice system. Uh, so she, she says it's the epitome of white privilege. I think the epitome of white privilege is being a, a, a shit actress. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Getting away with it. <laughs> who, who, thinks, who thinks that she's got, like, some sort of political, uh, she's got political opinions that people want to hear. Um, and it's not a, it's not a black-white thing, like the next tweet. So... This shows, if you click on that picture, it'll open it up. Um, this is a tweet, you should follow me on Twitter, by the way. Uh, so this is Andrew Coffey, uh, Andrew Coffey 4, um, which is uh, the coffee that uh, makes your heart uh, beat faster. But uh, found not guilty on all counts of murder, attempted first degree murder, and um, yeah, you can see he is not white. So, you know, where is the white yes, privilege but there? But he is politically white. <laughs> he's a secret white supremacist like Larry he's, Elder he's a white coffee yes um, so uh, yeah like uh, so we, we close that because we've got a couple more to, to get through before 
I finish uh, so this verdict is shown that it remains legal to murder Will White. Oh, this guy's a dancer, apparently. Why why is a dancer? Why is a dancer commentating on a trial? You know what I mean? You shouldn't even be com you shouldn't commentate on anything except for dancing. I wouldn't tell him what a good foxtrot is or whatever. You know what I mean? It's uh, you know, people should just understand the, the limits of their expertise. Um next tab. Uh so Mark, Rosanna Arquette has uh, has called, and this this tweet's still up. Uh, she said Kyle Rittenhouse is a murderer. Well, according to a trial that we recently had the verdict for, he's not a murderer. So I think Rosanna Arquette has defamed Kyle Rittenhouse here. And Rosanna Arquette is quite rich from uh, from you know all well, the all these um, people are bloody rich, aren't they? Sucking Harvey Weinstein's dick and then getting a career in Hollywood. Well, so well. I think that Kyle should sue Rosanna Arquette. And um, and and get money because she's defamed him. And the next tweet uh, is now been. Oh god, they're just getting boring now. Racial equality, but protesting issues like racial equality. How are they protesting racial equality? Like by burning down. Like why does the the fact that you're doing it for racial equality mean that it's okay to burn down businesses? When did when did burning down well, shops and houses become an acceptable thing to do? Um. I don't know. Maybe the seventies or sixties or something. I don't know. Like it goes back a long time. They're like stupid race riots. But I yeah. mean, well, no, the sixties ones you've got justified because of the civil rights movement. Yeah. But what does what does this mean? Oh uh, yeah. So John's written everyone's equal at zero. So if we oh, burn everything down, we will so get justice. The Great Reset. All the different races now have nothing. So we well, have racial justice. That's a good system. I mean, it worked well in Syria, didn't it? What do you think socialism is? <laughs> <laughs> you know? Well, socialism is usually taking the stuff and giving it to these people, yeah. and then there's no more stuff, and then what do we give to these people? Oh, there's no more stuff. We give them bullets usually. Yeah. Because no. the left think that wealth can't be created. They don't believe in wealth creation. It can only it just exists and it has to be apportioned. Uh, but that's for that's for another podcast. Uh, welcome to the wild F in West. The violence is coming. The violence that is coming will be unprecedented. That that's from a man who weighs about nine stone. So uh, I feel quite safe. I don't think Matthew Lillard, whoever he is, is going to be able to batter me. Um, I'd love oh, I'd love to see you try Matthew. Why don't you try and Bring some some of that unprecedented violence my way. We'll see. We'll see who comes out on top. Okay, next one. <laughs> They're just issuing fights at this point. Yeah. George Takai as well. Take you down. Get in the, get in the octagon, George. So George Takai uh, says, Justice denied is a body blow to our national psyche. On trial was not only a killer, but a system that continues to kill. What? Like, the people who are killing are the rioters who are burning down homes. People are dying, like, this, nobody ever talks about the people who are burnt to death and homes burnt down by, you know, BLM and Antifa rioters. Well, this is why I mentioned David Dawn, because it's actually the best example for someone who's killed but during the BLM riots. Right. I don't know if you remember the guy, but he's a, he was a, I think he was a retired cop, black guy, yeah. in a neighborhood, someone starts breaking in some place, stole a TV, so he went out to stop him, yeah. so he shot him in the head. Yeah, so yeah. David Dawn's just dead on the on the street. Yeah, nobody mentioning it apart from you know, like you'll never read about it in the Guardian or whatever because it goes Not against the narrative yeah. of uh, you know white supremacy and all the rest of it, which but, is absolute absolute bullshit. I mean, a, a, a lot of the places that were being rioted in uh, had you know um, a lot of uh, uh, BAME people living there. But that's so, that's the George Floyd riots for me in, in an image, mm. which is black guys going into neighborhoods, stealing stuff, and shooting other black guys in the head. Yeah, racial justice, folks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway. Yeah, well, you know, the the system the system failed by stepping back and letting it happen. If the police had gone in uh, or the National Guard had gone in and stopped it, then you wouldn't need Kyle Rittenhouse. No. And he wouldn't have well, been on trial. He is the National Guard. And if we talk about uh, justice and trials, George Takai, uh, if we go back to George Takai, he steals jokes. He was called out for stealing people's jokes, which is actually worse than what Joseph Rosenbaum did. He stole <laughs> jokes from no. comedians. No, it is. <laughs> Like, I'm a comedian, it's the worst thing you can possibly do. So he stole jokes and then, because uh, George Takai has built up this huge uh, following on social media by stealing content and presenting it as his own. And uh, he gave some sort of, you know, half-hearted, limp-wristed apology. Um, but I'm sure he continues to do it. So George Takai should be in the dock for uh, copyright theft. I mean, it is intellectual property, so... It is, yeah, it is. Um... And interestingly, there's a there's a case at the moment uh, going on where Kay Curd uh, stole material from a from a comedian. Um, so yeah, if you if you follow Kay Curd, unfollow him because he just steals jokes all the time and uh, does them on TV. 
and his agency are defending him. So is, so is the system. That's the real systemic injustice. Anyway, so LeVar Burton uh, says, tell me again there are not two kinds of justice in America. There are... There are not two kinds of justice in America, LeVar, whoever you are. Try and be more famous so I've heard of you. I'd understand, like, Callum not hearing of you because he hasn't heard of Woody Allen, but I haven't heard of you and I read the papers. So try and be more famous. Okay, next one. Uh, Yvette Nicole Brown. Is she, is she who married that Texan oil billionaire when he was 118? You're asking no. me. Uh, so anyway, so yeah, any black person, blah, 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 evil, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, verdicts, like blah, blah, blah. Uh, it's not like it's a Hispanic teenager killing three white men who are attacking him. Okay, next one. Ah, uh, oh, this is why I pulled this one up. Jesus, the clappy hands. No, ah, one. Just, uh, I, I love that. Yeah. Like, it's been a while since I've seen somebody. No, ah, one. I kind of hate it. <laughs> I kind of hate emojis. <laughs> anyway. I love the clappy hands. Uh, so yeah, you know when somebody uses the clappy hands, they're an absolute wanker. Yeah. Um, unless they're doing it ironically, which I do a lot. Sure. So next one. Um, oh yeah, and also um, Yvette Nicole Brown was, was talking about a, a lynch mob and uh, she was comparing it to a lynch mob and lynch mobs, I be believe traditionally, were white men uh, attacking and murdering a uh, black man. A black man, yeah. Such Instead of Kyle. A, a person of color <laughs> defending himself against a lynch mob. But that's the lynch mob. You know, the three white guys are the lynch mob in that comparison. Exactly. So it's completely inverted. It just shows the dissonance of, of the uh -huh. left. So Khloe Kardashian, everybody was waiting for Khloe Kardashian. <laughs> the political heavyweight. Oh, the, it's like Frost versus Nixon. Uh, Khloe Kardashian. Uh, she she spoke out against Kyle Rittenhouse's trial because you know at, at this point it's a it's a sort of liberal trope. You've got to show you've got to display that you're towing the liberal line on this. Otherwise, you're going to get cancelled from Hollywood. And this this happens if anybody if anybody in the acting world you know all these all these uh, areas that are systemically woke and this this goes for the public sector, tech, academia. All these places are systemically woke. And if you show the wrong opinion, then uh, then you can be cancelled. As happened to Lawrence Fox. He expressed a perfectly reasonable opinion that a lot of people will share and yes, uh, racism he, bad he was I, mean, yeah. I still can't get over that that was the thing that got him like kicked out of uh yeah you know the leftist society he yeah, just said yeah. yeah racism against white people also bad yeah 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 and yeah. then lost his you know a, a career he's, he's spent decades building up he's very good at and you know lost all and he's you know a father with kids he's got you know it's, it's disgusting how they how they do that to people. And then everybody else looks at Lawrence and they're like, oh, I better say the right thing. So when something like this comes along, Khloe Kardashian jumps on it and you know, PR says, oh, you should tweet about this. So she jumps on her Instagram and says, oh, yeah, whatever the thing is, I, I believe that too. And uh, that's that's what's happened here. So, um, yeah. yeah. Uh, and this, the Los Angeles Time. Uh, so this is one that was uh, deleted. It's by Bernice King, daughter of Martin Luther King. Uh, so it's halfway down this. Um, she said that, you know, why, why is uh, Kyle Rittenhouse allowed to roam around? And it's like, well, why were the protesters allowed to roam around? You know what I mean? If they'd been stopped, then maybe so this wouldn't happen. So what are you asking happen. for? Like curfews? Yeah, yeah, Just yeah, constantly? Yeah. I don't... Yeah, are you asking for the protest to be stopped? Like, I mean, that'd be, that would make sense. That's pretty racist. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to stop a BLM riot. Yeah, yeah. and uh, just to, to finish off, there's been a, a couple of um, celebrities come out in, in favour. So uh, Megan Kelly says, justice was done. Kyle Rittenhouse was unfairly maligned by a dishonest press who are shortly going to be uh, paying a lot of money to him for defamation. And uh, politicians who used him to advance their own fortunes. If there are riots, these smear merchants will shoulder much of the blame. And that's true. I mean, the Independent, um, the, like, there's been a lot of misreporting. The Independent described him as killing three black men. They said Kyle Rittenhouse killed three black men. And he didn't. He, no. he killed two men and they were white. I also appreciate the term smear merchant if she got that off car, but it's, uh, it's good to see. I like Megyn Kelly. I yeah. don't know if you've seen her interviews or whatnot. She comes off as just a normal person that's just trying to deal with stuff. Right. Yeah. Anyway, so. Yeah. Should we end that there? Uh, no, well, I've got two two more. So just Mike Lindell, uh, the pillow guy. Uh, so he uh, contributed to his to his bail. Um, and then the, the next one is, um, yeah, so Rick Schroeder, he's like the one celebrity who uh, who uh, spoke out in favor of uh, Kyle Rittenhouse. Not not the verdict, but contributed to his to his bail fund. Um, and he's a he's a former child star from I think NYPD Blue and some other things. So obviously, you know, the people who have had a career in Hollywood uh, can can now speak because they don't have a career to damage. Mm. Um, so they can they can speak honestly. But anybody who's got a career uh, isn't speaking honestly. They're they're just defending. 
Um, they're just towing the liberal line to preserve their career, and while remaining silent about the the pedophilia and you know people like Harvey Weinstein who still well, operate in Hollywood. That's what they've always been doing. Yeah. So no difference. Yeah. So there's your moral, you know, dissonance and the bankruptcy. If you enjoyed that segment from the podcast, The Lotus Eaters, you can go to lotuseaters.com and sign up to get access to all the premium content we have on the site. Yeah, we've got absolutely loads of it because we've been doing this for over a year now. So we've got a massive library of content that we're really, really proud of. Uh, we've got loads of premium articles, which we have written by our in-house writers and external writers, such as this one by Hugo, which is talking about the great narrative of the World Economic Forum and how it's falling apart. The cracks are becoming visible. And we also have sil uh, for Silver Tier members and above an audio track read by Jonathan Crow, who's a very, very good uh, speaker. And this makes it easier for you. We also have our regular series, such as Contemplations, like this one, uh, where I debate Josh about whether free will's an illusion or not. I am very firmly on the free will exists side of things, and Josh is wrong, but you can find out why uh, if you go and sign up. Uh, we also have uh, the epochs that Bo and I do, which is fantastic. At the moment, we're halfway through, well, uh, two thirds of the way through the series on Belisarius. Do you know who Belisarius is, Callum? Got a reconquered Rome. Yes, he did. He did. And uh, oh, it's, lost it. it's, a, it's honestly a genuine tragedy, and it's a really sad tale. And we're uh, just at the apex of his conquests at the moment, but next week uh, we'll get to enjoy the tragedy of it. It's really sad. But we also do loads of other stuff, like e interviews that we did, uh, one recently with Philip Tanza, who's a men's rights activist and conservative activist. And in this, this second one, we end up talking about the sort of metaphysics of masculinity. What is it you're trying to uphold by being a man? And I think it's important. What's there to learn? And he's a very interesting thinker anyway. We also have the book club, which is fantastic. We're about to record another one now, but this uh, last one we did was Niccolo, Niccolo Machiavelli's The Prince. So if you want to get the most out of these books, you can join us next. We've done a lot of work studying these. Uh, and we also do premium podcasts covering sensitive subjects, such as what happened to the January the 6th rioters. And we do slightly more academic ones, such as this next one about... The origins of intersectionality. Where does the term come from? What's the point of it? Well, I went and read everything that Kimberly Crenshaw wrote about it, and, well, it's not good news, frankly. In addition, you can also follow us on any of the social medias, such as getter.com, so you can follow us there at lotuseaters underscore com, and also you'll be speaking at the counter-conference uh, conference. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, the counter conference at the London O2 on December the 8th. Yes. Uh, I'm going to be speaking on a panel with Jason Miller, Lawrence Fox, and a few others. It's going to be fantastic, so come down and see us there. Anyway, if you'd like to get access to all that premium content or follow everything we do, please sign up at lotusseaters.com. Thank you and goodbye. <laughs>